And we recently welcomed a new addition to the WTNH team, so we thought what better way to get to know her than have her here on CT Style. Joining me now is Kyla Grogan, News 8's newest meteorologist. Welcome to our show and welcome to the station. Thank you. How do we follow that? That's, That's all tough. I, want to know. I mean, that was pretty impressive. We could come up with our own routine, I suppose. I know. We need some kind of something. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to work on that. Yeah, so you're not new to Connecticut. No, I was actually born in Hartford, so I have a lot of family in the state, all over the state um, and my mom is here which is huge That's you know great yeah because I've been living in Atlanta and so you know it's hard to kind of get back and see the family you have to take your vacation days now I just have right. to go right down the road and there That's she is fantastic does she watch every night Oh yes, she watches, <laughs> she critique, she, critiques, <laughs> she gives notes, all of the above, yes. And Kelly, you spent some time at the Weather Channel. I did, yeah. I've been there for the past uh, three years before coming here, which was amazing because, you know, you get to work with all the experts in each area of sure. weather there. And, um, and what's really cool about it is, you know, you live in one part of the country, you cover a certain type of weather. But when you're working for the Weather Channel, you get to cover weather all over the country, even the world. Mm -hmm. So you hit every weather phenomenon along the way. So it's, you know, I, I kind of looked at it as like the giant grad school of weather. It's, I guess so, right? It's, cool. it's a great experience, and you're really traveling all over the country with that job, I would assume. Yeah, I mean, I tended to be the one that was more in the anchor chair. There are some people that love to travel and get out and get smashed in the face with weather. Well, you see that shot in the middle of the rainstorm, yeah. right? Yeah, <laughs> but I was always kind of saying to my boss, you know, the other ones would be begging to go out in the field, and I was like, I want to sit in their chair when they go. <laughs> so, you know, you I wasn't out in the field that much, but uh, certainly they do. They get all over the planet. Yeah, uh, talk to us about your experience at The Onion, which is seems really the cool. The Onion, yeah. So I have an alter ego. Ago. Her okay. name is Andrea Bennett. She's a very serious news anchor. And um, I encountered The Onion, gosh, it was years ago now, when they had started a video part of what used to be the newspaper. And what it is is it's comedy news. And mm -hmm. they did a lot of political satire. And I kind of came in right at the time when we were getting into an election. Ah. So, you know, it's a lot of really cool satire that I think makes a lot of great points, but through comedy, which I think reaches people more sometimes sure, than sure. anything else. So I had a great run with them. Wonderful people I worked with, a team of writers that are often doing spectacular things now in LA and you know, they're all you Hollywood won now. a Peabody Award for that. We That's did awesome. win a Peabody Award, but the <laughs> coolest part about that is we didn't even enter. So that was the wacky thing is wow. we thought it was a joke when we had heard about that Peabody Award, but mm -hmm. in fact it was not. They, uh, they won it, yeah, but it was a huge team, so it was a pretty cool thing. Very good. So what do you think about Connecticut so far, being back home? Well, it's cold. Well, that's true, right? And I know <laughs> we're getting some snow this weekend. Yeah, we're getting some snow this weekend, and I have to say we've had, you know, a run of really cold weather mm -hmm. since I got here, but, you know, I'm having so much fun being close to friends and family and I getting a chance imagine. you can, you know, skip down to New York City, you're right near Boston. I haven't been traveling north yet, though, given the cold, I'm, I'm not going, <laughs> I, I have a very good friend in Boston, I went to college there, and so I always tell her, I'm like, I'll visit you sometime after February. That's the rule. There you go. When yeah. maybe you won't get stuck in a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kelly, you have uh, some other talents other than just weather, right? You toured off Broadway. Yeah. So I did national tours of Broadway shows. I kind of started off as a singer dancer kid, right? Uh -huh. And um, had the opportunity to travel and work and get to do crazy shows like Starlight Express in Germany. Where did you really? I did. On the roller skates? I am a that is awesome. bad roller, <laughs> like a good, when I say bad, I mean like the Michael Jackson version of bad roller skates. like really awesome at it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good at that. So I sang and danced my way around the planet. And um, you know, the cool thing is, is not only was it a blast to do, but I also got to just travel and see so many countries. And uh, it's funny now doing meteorology, you know, I talk about different weather phenomena and I've kind of encountered some of it in travel. So it's kind of cool to get to say, oh, wait a minute, I was there. Yeah, I remember that, that there's a desert in the middle of what you wouldn't expect a desert to be, sure. you know? Um, so yeah, I've, I've lived a rather charmed life in that way that I got to kind of have fun and sing and dance and mm -hmm. now uh, get into television too. So well, now we could watch you every night here on News 8, yeah. Monday through Friday. We are five, six, and 11 and I have some wonderful co-anchors and you know we're trying to make sure everybody has all the info they need ahead of time so you can make your plans like for instance this Saturday when you might want to adjust them. <laughs> there you go well very good. Thank you so much for stopping by here I know it was an early start for you so we appreciate it. <laughs> you bet. All right.